Welcome back to Avernum, where we need to find a new quest to do, but we've got stuff to sell. This is not, do they even have a seller? In, oh, there's a trading post. But selling's boring, and we've got plenty of space, unless you've got a bunch of a bunch of down. So the best bet I figure, where's the boat? If I left the boat again, all the way down there. I figure we, we at least poke our heads in the Swamp City. Oh. And see if we get instantly wrecked or not. Because thus far we've survived the other... Oh, let's see. Nothing worthwhile. We survived other Slith village encounters. And we survived the, the fort, which I was a bit surprised about. Which just goes to prove our level. Might be enough. Because it's the same type of uh, creatures. I mean, if they have a bunch of mages or something, then we'll probably be in big trouble. But we don't know that until we go inside. So let's do a quick save. Hop on in. Oh, they're ready for us. Flingers. Yeah, oh. You are at the south entrance to a slith settlement. In a huge cave to the north, you can see rows of crops and long, narrow pools. Cavefish and strange fungies are being raised in long, water-filled trenches. Dull-eyed slith civilians tend the food. At first, they barely notice your presence. Then the guards, with sharp blows from the butts of their two tin spears, rouse them to force them to the bridge, ready to repel your assault. You can certainly try. Yeah, but if they come across one by one, I don't think that's going to work out for them. In fact, I think I can do a pretty sweet electricity attack from here. That wiped out most of their front line. Yeah, but these flingers are not to be trifled with. Uh, you've made the mistake of trying to close distance with experts. Now we can probably actually get across. Uh, uh, oh, I can get all of them. Wait, what? Oh, she can't move. I'm gonna at least take out this guy, do some heavy damage. <gasps> Here they come. I reckon we just take the approach and just let them come to us. Pathetic. No longer immobile. S oh, still immobile. Never mind. Can they be reached? They can't. Can I do one of these? Oh, within vision. Yeah, very nice. Can't do like one of those. Wait one turn. I'd say we're in very good position here. The ambush has failed. Our counter ambush has very much succeeded. Yeah, she can just store a bunch. Why not? Frozen worm, they are actually a threat. Yes, we'll start off this way. Close with melee weapons. Oh, a slit there. Um start off with this before we have higher concentration. Uh almost. Oh, acid finished. Good. All three have been eliminated. 
Trying to take our flank. Won't work. I don't think we've been detected by whatever that is. Oh, it's an actual warrior. We can go head first. Standard slits. No big deal. We need to keep our eye on those pens. Oh, he's going the long way. That's interesting. something it's actually a threat these long watery trenches are filled with masses of pale writhing cave fish the slits must be raising them for food it's an ingenious and efficient arrangement of pools the lizard people may be barbaric but they are not foolish on that note let's kill them Save. Poker head. Nothing too exciting lying around. Yeah, let's check out this lower path. And hiding back here, it seems so. Give that meal to her. She's our meal carrier. A little dagger, maybe? Just a fish. Alright, we've gained more goodies. Technically, the early tunnels would, in theory, be easier to deal with. Save special. That could have been really bad. Oh, did they not spot us? It's got kind of like a sneak attack situation. Eh. Oh, you can't reach. Come on. Not good. To rush over. And you. Hmm. Let's get the one step. That's not very much damage. Oh, I'm mobile. Not great. Leg sweep. That's good damage. Yes, yeah, so that's a lot of resistance. So is it 99 on the fire? What was the damage on? Oh, so there's 200 something blocked from the stab. Wonderful backstab. Surely there's goodies in here. Aha, I knew it. Gold, lots of iron bars. Do we need hammers? I 
iron bars. Blacksmith, the war has left a short precious front. She'll pay for bars. There's another one. Is it hammers, though? Bars and hammers. Three hammers, three iron bars. So, I will take the hammer. And I will tuck that there, you know. Maybe I just put it there so I remember it exists. Because these wands just don't get used. Double and snare. Lovely gold bar. It's not actually that valuable as you'd think. Hmm. They're trying to sneak up on us from the side. Won't allow it. Oh, we've got probably an actual fight up there, so let's just get the haste going now. We can step up, get the protection going. Oh, they haven't spotted us. Yeah, this is the big fight. Pathetic. Utterly pathetic. Oh, I could step a diagonal. It'll put it at risk, but... We're gonna get some damage going in there. Never mind. We'll just need to do some healing. Switch on over. I think if we just focus properly, can we get him down there. Oh, was that with the jab from point blank? <laughs> that is not what I had in mind. Okay. See, now this looks interesting. Very interesting. And second bite of the cherry. Actually, can I? I can get the greater shade in there, so. Oh, but it's a little too much of an angle. Can't just be like. Can I target? No, it's not gonna work. Takes two spellcasters out of the equation. Let's just use heavy attack, good and snare, standard out of our hair. Oh, not terrible. Let's go for the shot and use your proper weapon to do the same. All right, not in terrible shape. Maybe move up. Now I can hit them both. It slowed. It didn't work though. Oh, did it disable the haste? I don't know. I don't know. Who really knows these days? Very nice. Didn't finish the qu any sort of quest though. Stability girdle. Six armor, two percent evade. That might be good for you, perhaps. Endurance, six armor, two percent of the yeah. I think so. I think that that tops it. Oh, so it's a crude javelin pile. I'll take those. And that looks like we're moving forward, so let's Clear this back corner. Get our 
heals in while we're at it. I guess that's all we're gonna get. Okay, we've got a few. We got a few here. So you can just go over there and show them who's boss. Nasty. Very bad. Oof. Close one. Another purge. That's it, it seems. Get our first aid on. And quick save. So we've cleared that. That seems like an important spot. It's more built up. So let's check out the pentons. That probably just connects through. Pens will be like some lizards. Or whatever. Or oh, another bridge. Perhaps a bridge too far. Actually, do you have a... Almost there. What's this? Blade shield. It's an impenetrable wall with your blades, enabling you to decisively turn aside the attacks of your enemies. Blade shield for four turns. Hmm. Well, I can do a mighty blow. Let's save up for the mighty blow. Actually, yeah, because it's nine. Yeah, I don't think there's quite enough to make that happen. It would be beautiful if I could. This room is a slith nursery. Long pools are provided for the little ones. Inside them, they eat, grow, and play with toy two tin spears. You can't see any of the baby slith, slith, slith Zerakai now. When you entered, they fled. They divided down into little tunnels at the bottoms of the pools. You wait, but they don't resurface. So, mighty blow. Can't make it. Can't make it. So they're gonna focus her. Oh. oh, we've already done the battle discipline. That's why you can't do more battle disciplines. Blade sweep. Bam! Oh, but missed everything. Making the blade sleep not seem all that great. Oh, they've flanked us. Damn. Let's check this. Was there anything dropped over here? There was a fine cloak. Might be more back there. box contains a bunch of dry slith scales. Why would these creatures save their own skin? It's very odd. Underneath the nasty things you also find an onyx key. We'll certainly take that. And this is just a standard little a cure. Oh, it's different? Curing elixir. Cure six hostile effects. Cure three. Yeah, the potion seems more like something I'd want to use in a jiffy. Oh, it's no encounter there? That surprises me. These pools are the nucleus of large slith hatchery. You are surrounded by hundreds of eggs, resting in shallow pools of water. They are likely to grow one day into happy, healthy, somewhat psychotic daddy and mommy sliths. Very little is keeping you from doing the slith tribes in this area a great deal of damage with one brief spurt of violence. Violence. It takes about 10 minutes. Soon you have decimated the nursery and shattered all of the eggs. The job takes a little while. As you strike the last blow, the chief of this town and his entourage arrive. They scream in grief and fury. Then they attack. The Slith Chieftain. Or actually, do I have uh, something better? Not really. 
heavy damage is that kind of thing. Now you, on the other hand, could use this. Oh, it has a little knockback action. Uh, not quite. They will come into the fold soon. Am I for ten turns? Yeah, rock the haste. Rock the haste and the protection. And then if you've got extra room, you can't reach them. It will simply have to smite. Oh, I didn't see them from the side. Probably could have done... Okay, well, they're all... rounding themselves into this nice enclosed death space. Uh, she doesn't have an angle. No bonus action. But, we've got... Oh, I think I back up one, and I think we get an epic spray here. Yeah, that's pretty great. Very great. This, this is a guaranteed kill, so let's take that. Oh, we've got more. Nice. It's been snaring. Too bad the ensnare doesn't work on bad guys. They're unsnareable. Good, good. Warrior. Got some more lightning on the way. And more on top of that. Beautiful. Pathetic. Uh, ensnared, but... Ugh, sucks. I don't think you can reach that, but you can probably... Line of sight? Nope. Can we... Oh, damn it! Clicking too fast. was concluded. And we can pick up all of our goodies. Oh, that was a big time heal there. Not using any magic points. Ooh, Mercuric Chain. Does that go to my hero? 12%, 16%. One action point minus one to strength. I don't know about that. It's kind of fancy, but kind of loses strength. 3% of 8 on a 16. Eh. Slift War Spear. Doubtful, but 55 to. Yeah, it's not quite as good. Good for selling. The oh, nope. Go away. They're not as good of the drops as one would hope. hidden back there. And the corpses of those that deserved it for all the trouble they've caused us. Oh, that connects there. And so where's, I guess the door must come around there or something. I think that's everything. So get another quick save going. Yeah, that's just a halt. Well, there is a s secret button. Let's step up. Quick save. And we weren't immediately attacked. This is interesting. Let's try to decipher it. Surprisingly, the book was written by humans. The slip's most fingerprints are all, all over it. They must have been studying to learn about humanity. The book is a history of the Empire. 
Like most of the books on the surface, it was only released after being carefully checked by the agents of Emperor Hawthorne. It describes how the Empire came to rule all four continents on the surface. The books end... The books ends just after the fourth, wildest continent, Velorium, is finally fully conquered by Emperor Hawthorne. The humans there who opposed him either ended up dead or in Avernum, usually the former. You can improve your knowledge of the spell War Blessing. Alright, so someone got some War Blessing. Is that... Oh! I don't know if we had War Blessing before. Haven't learned, haven't learned. Yeah, so these are learnable. None of them look worthwhile, though. So how do we get in here? Is that what the button does? Saved. Aha! You can take these. It'll take up slots, which is kinda dumb, but they've got some value, so it's acceptable. A bag of sugar! Did someone else want a bag of sugar? So these bags of sugar maybe aren't as rare as I thought they were. Still no gray mold. Oh, that was a locked door. Aha! Ooh. Oh, I am an expert disarmor with my high skills. Ooh, beautiful crystal. 27 is 27, 240. Yeah, so gold, silver, and copper are all worth the same. Which seems dumb. Yes, how do we get in here? There must be a button. Something. Oh, there is a button. I just didn't see it. Come on. On this pedestal is a heavy leather bound tome. The pages are covered with tight slith pictograms, carefully painted in gold ink. The book radiates a strange magical power, though not one you could take advantage of. This book could be very useful to someone who is studying the slith magicians. We'll take that. Got the slift tome, we've taken out the slift commander. Apparently no You move quickly towards the exit, hoping to make a clean escape with the stolen slith holy book. Unfortunately, unsurprisingly, the priests of this town plan to make your lives difficult. A group of crack slith troops is hiding in the water by the exit, ready to ambush you as you leave. They rise from the muck, spears at the ready. Alright, well they're not behind us, so we have a mage, a shaman, three warriors. We should we make short work of them? Um. Yeah, we don't want to walk into their range. We want to make them walk forward so that we can lightning strike them. So I'm going to take a side attack position. And. Yeah, we're going to split. Then what can you do from here? Almost something quite good. Right, should get double? I think you just stand aside. Back and we reach we do, we do. Shield chants are active. Good, good. Uh, do I bother with the haste? I don't think any of them go down, so the haste... Oh. Haste is the way to go. Can I reach with the haste? Let's go central. Haste. Haste did not work. Oh, it didn't even work. Ah, oh, come on. Each attack has the ability, has a chance to not use action points. But not a guarantee. Yeah, that makes 
makes more sense for distance. Oop, unaffected. Yeah, we're not getting much haste over here. Oh, they're really trying to bring the stuff, so let's take it straight to them. If you just come here, you can probably reach with this and affect them all. Quite well. And we gotta play it safe at this point for you. Oof. Don't miss though. Oh, lost the turn. Coming for you. Oh. For you. Directly. You're the threat, so let's just take you out. Alright, we're done with that fight. Create jabs. Is that all we're gonna take? Unless anything over there. Spear. And they didn't drop shit. So I would call that a success. The question is... Drenlin, that's Fort Drenlin, so then the, the Arcana, I think it might be Tower of Magi or somewhere. Vengeance. Commander Rosie. I'm sure she'll be happy to hear from us. We even slaughtered the Leon. I killed that shaman you told me about. Not to sound greedy, but can I have some sort of reward? She laughs, a harsh, almost manacle sound. Excellent. He got what he deserved. Fight us? Fine. But to taunt us like that, I can't reward you much, but she hands you a small pouch of gold coins and a wool cloak. This money is out of my pocket, and I brought that cloak from the surface. Call it a personal gift from me to you. Given with the greatest gratitude. Alright. Take another grounded cloak, which is a cotted cloak. Armor, fire resistance, armor, energy resistance. Pick your poison. Yeah, fire. I mean, if energy was like all damage, but I don't think that's what energy is. So I think it, it is a higher level one. But fire versus drakes and stuff. I think that's just what I go with for now. If energy truly becomes an issue. Just have to track one down. At higher levels we can probably buy like a magic weapon shop. Maybe in the abyss even. Oh, this guy. I have to sell. Oh, it's only worth 80. with those so bam we're at 7200 we have good stuff going on I think I already bought up all of her spells at least for my mage which is all that I need to upgrade for so then we have the quest called Slitherakai Arcana Marwin's skill mage at Fort Dranlin. Fort Dr Oh. Also here. Oh, she's over here now. Owning this book on magic, you're a magician. Can you teach me? Maybe you'd be interested in owning this book on slith magic. 
takes the slift tome and starts looking through it carefully, as if she's afraid that it will hurt her. How interesting. How bizarre. I wonder if this will help us. I certainly hope so. Give me some time for... Give me some time for me to look at this. Come back later. I will gladly teach you the Dispel Barrier spell. Can you teach me now? She can. So, Dispel Barrier for 1,000. And improve. I don't know how it would improve. Let's, let's view it first. Cost 30. Affects nearby. Dispels nearby magical barriers for 30. Is it just cheaper? I guess you can teach them separately if you wanted to. Has a chance of destroying all nearby magical barriers. Affects nearby allies. Dispels nearby magical barriers. I'm not sure. But it's better somehow. Maybe there's a level 2 barrier. Oh! There's nothing there to destroy, so I don't want to just destroy it for no reason. But we have that ability now, which is fantastic. I probably can only learn it from her, I wouldn't be surprised. It's the Slith Assassin, I mean we are on a Slith hunt. So let's just do it. Stuck on something? Come on. Slith Assassin. That's Collapsed Passage. Island Fort. The castle. Where's the Slith Assassin? It should be... Is it an undiscovered location, maybe? Could be some powerful random encounters. That looks powerful. Well, let's just... Let's just run into it. The title says there are large iron runes set in the stone. You can't comprehend them. It looks like all mages to me. Come here. Oop. You stumble into a group of slith priests. You think they're doing on some sort of pilgrimage, looking for a temple or other spot sacred to them. You also think they're lost, and when they see you, they learn for sure that they're hostile. Okay. They are tough, but not that many. So she can probably go down and attack these, so I want to go after this guy. Because he may not be... ...lightningable. Almost. Oh, if we can get the kill on him, that would be great. So, you're spared. Use the protection. Insane, and all sorts of magic. All right, we do our stab. Oh, nice cleave! Very nice cleave. Hmm. I could. One, see what we got. I could probably go over one more, get a really good. Oh, in fact, the last one gets hit. Oh, ha, 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 ha. More magic for you. Lots of magic for you, though. Just what we need. Yeah, it's step up in your face. Not today. Fire. And work with a bow shot, we'll take care of business. They were not that tough. So temporarily. I can transform it. Wonderful. You search the priest's bodies carefully. 
One of them had a wand tucked away behind its breastplate. They never used it against you. It must have been intended for some sort of sacrifice. A wand. A crystalline wand. It does dragon's ice, 22 to 82. Not that great. Certainly got value, though. I'd say it's overvalued. Yeah, so Slith Assassins are in there, so let's... Oh, not exactly what I wanted. Okay, now it has the Slith Temple. Gonna fully explore. Oh, so I've actually been here before on the backside. Is this a town? Small village, full of barbarian Slither Akai. It's small but heavily defended. Well, it sounds to me like we need to get taken care of. It's like a tough fight, but... Not impossible. First, we need to do our best to take them out. Probably come up two spaces... And just... Wreck that side of their lines. Very good. And how far off are we? Probably not this battle, but... Perhaps one soon. Do they just walk around and not do anything? Oh, that fire was nasty. Okay, so strategy is probably going upwards, so getting the furthest over here makes sense. You're done for. Getting that going on. So just a backup. Oh. That's still good. Yeah, I reckon if I can back up more. Let's get this spread even better. Oh, it's starting to get kind of beautiful here. That's probably the best. That gets all the tough guys. It's gonna knock out some of those weaker ones, too. Very nice. Now, how close are we? Much closer. Maybe we can pop in this battle. Maybe. Alright, he can survive one round. Most likely. Ooh. Good, a buff is... Oh, that's the nasty one. Oh my goodness. Lost the turn. Uh... Yeah, we're not sure if I'm going to really heal you. Oh, messed that up. So I'll have the other one heal. And just take all of them out seems like the way to go. Yeah, we need the better heal at this point, or at least this heal. Oh, that'll do. Yeah. This would be tried. Very good. Close. One back. Ride the lightning. Oh, kept the turn, kept the turn. Nine means I probably get a second. Uh, not quite. That's not that great. Hmm. It's her turn. Can we do two? We can do two. 
So let's do that. And you, my friend, will start the front line just for that occasion, which happened to miss. Oh, beautiful cleave. Verification, not good. There you go. Run away. I guess he won't hurt the uh, other one. And you know what? Because of the cleave situation, it's a good one. Very good. All right, no longer terrified. Got it. These slithers are Kai. We're very poor. You don't find anything in the ruins except some stone tools and dried fish. That's okay. They're no longer a threat to humanity. Yes, we have expended some spell energy. Uh, where's the nearest town? Oh, can I go down to Almeria? Uh, it's blocked off. Okay, we, I don't know if I can finish this whole thing, but I can at least... Uh, let me in! Do a little bit. No goodies, presumably. When you enter this tunnel, the smell of incense immediately makes you dizzy. The thick, musky scent in the air combined with the key deep chanting echoing through the tunnel makes it very hard to concentrate. Statues of Slith Zarakai line the entrance to these tunnels. The Sliths are huge statue makers. Statues are how they record their history and remember their great leaders from the past. Most of these stone warriors are holding or standing on human skulls, which lets you know how friendly a place this is not. Okay, we're well gonna already see a warrior. That. Throw down the haste. Yeah, now we've got three turns of haste. Shield chant only three. Okay. The shaman is the threat, the way I see it. So they can cast them spells. One of them spell casters. So this is supposed to... Oh, it's, well, it's only four turns. I guess maybe it's like the scroll that gives you 12 turns worth. Like some sort of like leveled up version. powerful as I would have thought. Very good. First level up. I think I'm afraid of being flung at. Yeah, just like a little variety over here, so... But 185. Still peak damage. Oh, they're done for. Got more baddies up ahead. But I reckon we can take some time to pick up these goodies. And you have elixir. Let's throw a potion on your bar. Why not? Cool. Cool, cool. It's a good, good play. Oh, they're coming for us. Keep the distance. Draw them in. Back line. Will that work from there? Not really. Oh, now you're tanking. You're not supposed to be tanking, Aiko. Never a good sign. Let's do an ice for 
of fun. your head out was a good idea. I, mean, I suppose we would have come for you later, but... frozen worm. Okay, just standard slips. Can't really reach anything. I don't think. Oh, I can. the mage. Oh, there's... Oh, he's... I didn't even see that one right in front of me. Hoping for a cleave. Nope. No, no, no. No cleaves allowed. Oof. In your face. Twice. Let's just get the angle. As long as there's not any worms hiding in the corners. Drop a nice little scroll for me. So let's see what that scroll is. First of all, you take your... Ooh, some dried meat. Speed burst. You, know, you might actually use that in a useful way. There. Over there. Invading from the right side of the screen. Wonderful. These are just standard fare. Unfortunately, but it looks like I should be getting herbs of some kind. There is a Slitherakai warrior standing in the shadows. She holds her two-tin spear at the ready, but she makes no move to attack. She evaluates you carefully. When she sees that you have noticed her, she says, "As I'm Nerissa." A scourge of mighty Zithus. You have invaded a sacred place. I have been sent to hunt you down. It's like, what is this place? A holy shrine, the tomb of a mighty slith warrioress lost in the ages before our kind were driven from the caves. And now we have returned, and this place is now ever ours. Zithus, our mighty king. Lord of Slitherakai, bringing death to you, puny pink creatures from his mighty island fortress. Nerissa, I've been sent to hunt you down. I thought as much. 
I have killed many of your kind, some fighting, some in their sleep. When I'm done with you, I will kill many more. She bears a mouthful of fangs. So tell me, weakling, are you ready to fight a scourge, one of the deadliest of our kind? You could just surrender. I... They're not... I, I, I'd actually not fight. I, you could just surrender. And then face knowledge of my weakness? I would sooner rip my throat out with my claws. You insult me by even suggesting it. No parlaying. I will kill you now and eat your heart. She steps forward. All right, so we have one chance to do... I think I'd rather rock the haste. Beautiful. And so I start with a haste, which is the best thing one can do. Oh. That now. I don't have any higher end stuff really. I could attempt to immobilize in weakness up to 200. Yeah, the old leg sweep. Mobilize like a fool. Nope. Oh. Get the, that going. Now, cleave could be a problem here. We could get cleaved to death. That is a distinct possibility. Can you hit? No, not around that corner. So let's, let's peek around. And I've already hasted. Daze isn't going to work on this kind of high level. So two attacks. It's not a great position. But no matter. It's got a... Ooh. There we go. That's our haste. So one space. So one space. And just have to jab it up. Pathetic. Uh, it's an acid applied. Poison is applied. Let's apply a spray of acid. It just builds up over time. And then lightning. Oh, wait. The lightning cleared the other stuff? They're just immobile now? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. So move one space. And actually, he could use some healing. So we'll just keep up with the lightning spray. Good, good. With a fast, smooth motion, Nerissa pulls an orb from a belt pouch and throws it to the stone floor. It smashes, and foul smoke emerges. It mixes with the incense smoke and makes you feel very dizzy. <laughs> You alive just in time. Also cleared of any. We need our own spells here. Very good. So I've already counteracted the smoke bomb. Let's take a heal. And still have fatigue. Now we're back. Or actually, let's let's throw down that leg sweep. And you miss the damn leg sweep. Nice parries. All right, just standard attacks. Mm -hmm. Time to rehaste. Oh, that was nasty. You're gonna need to help out here. And at this rate, let the, ens the ensnares do shit. Oh, oh, so close. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, right there. Ah, oh, the cusp. Beautiful. Oh, still have a little bit more to do, though. Two fine slit spears, a rod of sucker. 
This spell functions exactly the same as heal, but benefits all nearby allies. Now that is one that I'd have on my bar. Or actually, I should probably have the group heal on the bar. To be honest there. Put that. Shielding. Maybe more of my potion goo. Is it a group shield? Just solo shield. A lot of sucker. Just so good. So damn good. Wait, healed 25 to 65. Is that. Same as healed. Oh, it's just a rod version. Hmm. Worth 600. Worth 4. I don't know. It might be better to just, just sell it. Who knows? But given that. He's got five group heals. Let's just dump all the group heals there. Give you a rod of sucker. Just put it down there. That tiny bit of first aid we get. And the quick save. So that might be the toughest fight in here. Not sure. He didn't get it. Didn't get it. Or it might be this. Well, this this looks pretty weak. Oh, and I've just noticed that I have gone over the hour limit for the first time. So I'm going to be ending the episode, and we will be finishing this dungeon in the next one. So catch y'all then. Just having too much fun. <laughs>